Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at an unknown case. Here we have a 58 year old with confusion and transient weakness. I'll show you some images and give you a second to look at it and then we'll go through them together. Here we have a single image from a non-contrast CT. The patient went on to get an MRI. This is diffusion and ADC. Here you have a selection of additional non-contrast images. You have T2 on the left here, flare, and a gradient echo. And finally, we have pre and post contrast. And one more little addition for you guys. This is some dynamic susceptibility for fusion imaging. So think about what your leading diagnosis would be. So in this case, we have a multiple enhancing particle masses. Anytime you see multiple enhancing masses, you want to have a differential in mind. Your top three in this case are going to be metastases, lymphoma, and glioblastoma. Now, abscess can be multifocal, but in, in most cases, you're going to be able to rule it in or out based on uh, the diffusion-weighted imaging. Other kinds of infection can cause multifocal masses as well, like toxoplasmosis. Uh, but again, like that's usually uh, can be determined by the clinical history. In this case, we're dealing with a case of lymphoma. What we have is a left frontal mass, and uh, this mass was resected, and the diagnosis is large B-cell lymphoma. And you have this enhancing nodule in the right posterior frontal lobe as well. And we'll review those images in just a second. Uh, and there are a couple of features that we're going to go through that will help you uh, try to sort of tighten your differential diagnosis and come up with a specific diagnosis. Uh, me personally, when I was reading this case, I was a little bit fooled because there were multiple lesions in a subcortical location, and uh, I called this metastases, but I'll, we'll talk about this a bit more. So on your first image, you have a non-contrast CT. You have this mass that's here in the left frontal lobe. It's rather dense, I mean, it's denser than any of the other brain parenchyma. You have a lot of edema around it, and you have a lot of mass effect, so you, you know you're concerned about a mass. Anytime you see this on a CT, you want to recommend an MRI. Now, the patient's MRI, here we have diffusion, and you'll look at the rim of this mass. Uh, it's pretty bright on DWI, and uh, when you see it on ADC, it's even, even lower on ADC. So you definitely have some concerns that there's some tightly cellular material there. Once you get uh, to your T2-weighted images, you see this thick rim, and it's quite dark on T2. It's uh, darker than, uh, than even the white matter, so it's pretty dark. And you have a lot of surrounding edema, similar to what you're seeing on the CT. And flare just kind of confirms that uh, with fluid suppression. Uh, you do see some little areas of hemorrhage in this mass as well. That's an area where you can get a little bit fooled because lymphoma usually doesn't have hemorrhage. Uh, here you see the pre and post contrast, and on T1 it's quite dark, and it very avidly enhances. And then the other thing you'll note on this uh, T1 post contrast image is you have another enhancing nodule in a subcortical location at the right posterior frontal lobe. So that sort of gets you down the differential of multiple masses. So it might lean you a little bit more towards metastases or lymphoma over glioblastoma, but a glioblastoma can also be multifocal. Here we have perfusion. You see this is a very densely uh, perfused mass. It's very hyperperfused, much hotter uh, even than uh, areas of cortex, which are routinely hyperperfused. So the key clues that tell you that this is uh, lymphoma are this low T2, which is a little bit unusual. This thick pattern of enhancement is quite unusual for uh, metastasis or, or even glioblastoma, uh, just to have so much uh, solid enhancement and uh, for it to be quite dark on the EDC again. So you see that. So those features might point you towards lymphoma. Although, as I say, like uh, I was fooled by this as well. This other nodule here made me think that this was gonna be a metastasis. Now I'll show you a little bit about perfusion. Uh, there's this notion that you can use perfusion to determine if something is a metastasis, lymphoma, or glioblastoma. Uh, because if you look at this waveform, so here we have waveforms for different regions of interest. 
This is a waveform in a normal appearing portion of the brain. And then we have two abnormal areas. There's this notion that if you don't get back to the baseline, you have a leaky blood brain barrier and that you're more likely to be dealing with metastasis. So if it ends up lower than the baseline on dynamic susceptibility perfusion, you're dealing with metastasis. So that kind of fooled me a little bit as well. The notion is that GBM will return to the baseline and that lymphoma will gradually uh, eke above the baseline here. And you can see that, but uh, that's just a minor factor and I wouldn't let it change your differential very much. So thanks for checking out our video today. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the rest of the videos on our channel or check us out on learnerradiology.com.